Key state legislator has vowed to turn the medical marijuana bid competition upside down, possibly rewriting the law and reopening the bid process. The Georgia Medical Cannabis Commission has tentatively selected six companies to produce medical marijuana. But following an I-team investigation and criticism of how winners were picked, a legislators demanded answers from the commission. And senior I-team reporter Del Russell has the latest on that. Do we need to step in and change this, this meltdown of getting this thing done? A frustrated oversight committee at the state capitol lashed out at the Medical Marijuana Commission executive director about the secrecy, the bid scoring, and the slow rollout of medical marijuana. I want to get people help today, next month. The Regulated Industries Committee meeting followed a nine-team investigation of the winning bidders, the filing of 21 bid protests, and heavy lobbying by losing bidders. Lee County now home to the state's latest dispensary. We started with a Florida company called True Leaf. The company's CEO, Kim Rivers, is married to a man recently convicted of public corruption charges in Florida. J.T. Burnett bragged on undercover tapes about how he and a Florida legislator made little tweaks that give you some advantage to the Florida marijuana legislation. True Leave, one of Georgia's winning bidders, told us J.T. Burnett had no role with True Leave Georgia. It's not a great day, but I've had other not great days. Then there was Jigar Patel of Nature's Georgia, also a winning bidder. Patel was once a business associate with a man in Massachusetts who admitted in court to bribing a Massachusetts mayor to win his medical marijuana license. Nature's Georgia wrote to say it was irrelevant because the company separated ties with that individual long before our Georgia application was submitted. Our businesses have uh, cultivated 23 million grams of cannabis. And finally, we found this businessman who offered advice to the commission, sent in license application instructions, and volunteered to be a consultant. He promised he wouldn't bid. The commission never hired him as a consultant. But Michael Mays ended up as one of the winning bidders. Critics saw a possible conflict. Wow, uh, I was not aware that you know, it looks real bad when you don't put that up front. The Regulated Industries Committee members expressed several concerns to the Medical Cannabis Director Andrew Turnage. Their chief complaint, the heavily redacted bids we showed you in a recent I-Team investigation. It's right here for anyone to see. Page after blacked out page of redacted material. Some bids virtually 100% redacted. Medical Cannabis Executive Director Andrew Turnage explained the commission was following the law as it was written by the legislators. And he couldn't tell them who scored the bids or how they reached those scores because by law, it is confidential. I take it for granted that the ones who did the judging were the commissioners. They were. And I'm then I would have thought that they would have brought in a third-party consultant. They didn't. Well, mistake. The commissioners who picked the winning bidders and who knew who was running each company are political appointees, selected by either the governor, lieutenant governor, or speaker of the house. The companies that bid were chock full of politically connected players like former Georgia Congressman Tom Price, who was on the board of directors of one of the winning bids. During the bid process, one winning applicant, True Leave, announced a financial partnership with the Morehouse School of Medicine to study medical marijuana, according to this True Leave press release. Cannabis Commission Chairman Dr. Christopher Edwards is a graduate of Morehouse School of Medicine. But the intent of this legislation was to help kids. Representative Micah Gravely co-wrote the medical marijuana bill. Is there anything you can do? Uh, we can continue to push. We can continue to uh, start asking questions. Uh, obviously, we can start asking the right questions of when is oil going to be ready for the patients of this state. Committee Chairman Alan Powell says after all the complaints and all the unanswered questions, it's time to re-examine the bids and the law. Maybe what we need to do is pass some changes. You ain't got to start from scratch one, but you can certainly change the whole structure about how they do it. Set aside all this bid business and open it back up. Start all over? Start all over. Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.